Stanny, Stanny, Stanny. Dad, your target was last recorded near an abandoned quarry in the Tundra Express. Tundra Express. That's a unique location. It's got Varkids, Bandits, whatever this was. And hey, Tiny Tina. That shouldn't be too hard to put together. Let's see what they made. Okay, hold up. We have no ice. You added Threshers. There's a Rack and a Skag, both of which don't spawn in Tundra Express in-game. You didn't show a single Varkid. It's like the only thing that you got right was that Tiny Tina was there. Now, surely you didn't pick Tundra Express instead of literally any other location because you looked up Tiny Tina into Google and saw that's the location she was in, right? Because it seems like you managed to miss every other part about that zone. Now this might sound like nitpicking at first on a terribly bland movie, but stick with me for a moment. Now there are tons of locations inside of Borderlands, many of which are barren wastelands with racks, threshers, and bandits. Why pick Tundra Express? The only thing that makes sense is that they use the wiki to fact check anything in the game without having played it at all. Allow me to give you an example from a different part of the movie. In the scene where Claptrap is spying on Lilith, I notice something odd. Something that I feel like almost everyone missed. Now take a look at the name in the bottom left. Lilith Cashlin. That took me back. I was like, Lilith has a last name? I have never heard anyone refer to her by her last name. Turns out her name actually is Cashline, but the way I figured this out is 100% the way the writer who made this movie, or whoever they sent to get information, did as well. It's on the wiki. If you scroll down on Lilith's wiki page, you will notice a small trivia bit about how her last name shows up. Upon clicking on the video, there she was, on an unused texture from an outdated alpha build of Borderlands 1. This means they picked that name because of an old wiki page. That is the extent of their fact checking with a $150 million budget. This movie just gets worse the longer you stay in it and hurts even more when you pay attention to the locations they choose to talk about. They chose Tundra Express, but I would offer up Arid Badlands instead, especially considering Marcus mentions Lilith looking for something in Firestone. Find what you were looking for in Firestone? Sadly, whoever was getting the information for this movie already used Arid Badlands as a location in a scene where Grandma tells us that they found a vault key inside of the Caustic Caverns, which that statement alone gives me an aneurysm. There's no vault keys in the Caustic Caverns. That isn't the map for the Caustic Caverns. And on top of that, that location is supposed to be under the city that you are currently in. I mean, they couldn't even get the one gun that they name-dropped in this entire movie correct. Nice try, Miss Vladoff Infinity. I never forget a gun. Vladoff <laughs> Infinity. I guess this really shouldn't be too surprising they forgot the Infinity Pistol had infinite ammo. Since early on in the movie, Lilith attempts to use it as a sniper rifle, which the Infinity has a forced sideways 8 pattern, making multiple accurate shots in the center of the crosshair impossible, as you will need to fire it 4 to 5 times before it lines back up in the center, and this can make long range combat nearly impossible. And then later on in the movie, they decide to just use it as a revolver for some reason. <laughs> To call this movie bad is an understatement. What we have here is not bad. It's a $140 million embarrassment that nobody even tried on. The actors didn't understand their character, the lore makes zero sense, and it misses what makes Borderlands unique in the first place, which is the guns. As a Borderlands fan, I am worried that this badass box office abomination is going to hamper the development of Borderlands 4 since that is money that could have been used to make a sequel that we've all been waiting for. Instead, we got a slap in the face that banked on name and star power alone to push ticket sales. But hey, I'm sure Randy is listening and taking the feedback well. Oh.